hello all this is tarun in the last video i have shown you how to set the uh, separate dot nuke folders for nuke 12 and nuke 13 right actually everything works fine but i have noticed that it cannot be able to read the recent files and also the script history for sometimes see here you can have this uh, recent files right um, and also here you have this script editor every time you write the script um, when you are launching the nuke for the next time uh, it will show you the uh, script over here right sometimes it's not um, restoring this uh, script history and also it's not uh, loading the uh, and also it's not loading the these uh, recent files uh, entirely actually these are recent files uh, which i have used uh, nearly uh, two to three weeks before okay let me show you the demo quickly. Uh, I'm I'm creating some random nodes, blur, create, color correction, and I'm saving to th I'm and I'm saving this into my desktop as random name as remember version one. Okay, I'm closing this script. I'm launching the new again. See, you should have that remember nuke file in this uh, recent file, right? We have saved that in the desktop. See, you should have this file, right? But here, you don't have that. This is the issue which I have noticed. Um, actually, the reason is, what we have uh, done in the previous video is, before the nukes get launched, um, before the nukes get launched, what we have given is, it should access the files only from these two directories, these two folders, right? It will not access the folders outside these folders. See the recent files are storing here and also the script predator history also storing here and also uh, the preferences uh, and also uh, file chooser favorites preferences. All these are storing outside these two folders. This is the reason why it's not loading these um, recent files, mainly these recent files because this is one of the essential things, right? Okay, uh, actually I don't know how to access these uh, recent files um, before the nukes get launched. So what I did is, I have written a simple script uh, named as recentfiles.py. See this is the source directory, dot nuke is the uh, source directory. Okay, uh, let me explain uh, what I am going to do. Okay. Uh, I'm Before the nukes get launched, I, I'm going to copy these four files. I have to copy these four files uh, and I'm going to paste in this nuke 12 and this nuke 13 folder okay this is what I'm uh, this is what I have did in this uh, script see uh, before I have going to start um, working with um, files I have to uh, I have to given I have to store the locations in the variable so this is the source location uh, because uh, we are going to uh, we are going to take the recent files uh, recent files and these um, these four files from this dot uh, new folder so this is the source file so I have stored this location in this uh, source variable and this is this two are destination folders okay you can give any um, you can give any uh, random names I have given as for our better understanding I have given as uh, the same name as new 12 and this is new 13 and these two are while I am writing the script, uh, sometimes it's not. Uh, see here, I have given uh, it's as backwards slash right. See uh, when you are when you are copying the directory name, uh, here you have backwards slash right. When I was writing the script uh, with this uh, backwards slash, uh, it showed me error. But after I have renamed it as uh, forward slash, it works fine. So. For renaming that, um, I have used these two scripts. Here I have used a uh, replace module for uh, renaming the script. Here renaming is done, and um, and then um, and then I have written the uh, name of those files which I am going to copy to these folders uh, in a separate variable named as list. See uh, script editor, uh, recent files, preferences 12.2 and preferences 13.2. 
I'm going to copy these four files to this uh, nuke 12 and nuke 13 directories. Uh, here I'm using uh, for loop. Inside the for loop, I'm uh, I'm using uh, dry except uh, methods. The reason why I'm using the dry except method is uh, sometimes uh, you don't have these four files uh, because some of you all, uh, some of you uh, don't have the script editor uh, history dot xml. At that time, it will show you an error. At that time, uh, when we use the try exit method, it will bypass those errors and will it iterate to the next file. That is why I am using try exit method. Okay, I am closing this. Uh, in initer py, I am importing these uh, recent file. I am saving it. Okay, I am. Now I'm going to uh, save one more file into my desktop. I'm waiting some some random notes. I'm saving it as dilate version one. Okay, I'm closing my script. Okay, watch here. This new 13 folder doesn't have uh, any recent files, uh, script editor, and also there is no preferences over here, right? But once I have launched the new, you will see that uh, you will see that these four files will get copied to this uh, new 12 and this new 13. Now I am launching new. Okay, now here you can see that uh, recent files and the script editor history.xml has copied uh, from here. I don't know uh, why uh, these two preferences have not copied over here. Okay, okay, let me check that later. Okay, let's check our recent files. See, uh, here is the uh, here is the dialect dot version one uh, which we have which we have saved before into my desktop. Okay, uh, I hope this video will fix the uh, recent files problem. If you are still facing any issues with these methods, uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.